Why should people see this play? Because I said so. Be <laughs> <laughs> You're the new artistic director of Miles Square Theater. I am. Why did you select Berta Berta? One of my favorite people and playwrights, Angelica Sherry, wrote it. So I just thought it would be really great for me as my first play chosen for my first season to be a play that I love, that I've been around for a while, and that features two black people who are in love and figuring out how they can be together and if they can be together. It's the kind of contemporary piece that is also a period piece that speaks to what our new focus at Miles Square is, and that is to continue to make classic theater, yet to focus on contemporary works. From what inspirations did you draw as you were shaping this play as director? Oh god, what kind of question is that? One that I worked hard on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that my inspiration for choosing it was because I wanted something that was different from me, but I will say that I've learned a lot making this play. When we hired Sean Bennett Fauntleroy to be our intimacy director, I learned so much about choreographing intimacy and also speaking to actors about intimacy. Really really experienced my level of comfort and discomfort with some of the intimacy that happens on stage in this play. And so I feel like I only want to continue making plays that challenge me in a really, really great way. I don't know if that answers your question, but... Yeah. Okay. In a way. In a way. <laughs> <laughs> There, we lost them. All right, so I'll take five. <sighs> please post a video of me laughing, please. <laughs> what do you love most about this play? So the play was written by a Christian woman about a Christian woman. And the Christian woman in this play believes in things that aren't necessarily what we think of as Christian these days. And so there's something really exciting about featuring ritual and religion on stage in a way that pushes the boundaries of what we believe about modern day Christians. Let's say you weren't directing this play. Who would you bring to see this play? I think I would want all of the people with whom I've performed in other pieces to come see this play. Any particular reason? Yeah, because it's different. When you ask me to compare this play to other plays, I will do that. But it is so not like those plays that I say that it's like because it is its own thing. It's really, really different from what you expect for black theater. Next question. Yeah. How does this play affect LeBron James' legacy? <laughs> What can we expect next from MST? Oh yes, Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol, opening in December, running through December 24th, directed by the great Jen Haltman. It is the story that you know, but a lot of the story that you don't know. It's dark, it's funny, it's um, dark, funny. <laughs> We're gonna have to get the marketing team in there to punch that up a little bit. Yeah, you know, get the marketing just, team yeah, to punch yeah, that we'll up. To, we'll it's gonna be really great, and we're doing it all on this little stage. Kevin, that is all I have. Do you have anything that you want to say? I appreciate all of you for watching it, this video. Comment, thank you. Tell Kevin, thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.